Welcome to another <coughs> episode of Do I Like It? So today we're going to look at a uh, web poner, web application security scanner. Now, already from the name, I'm <clears throat> I'm not sure that I like. You know, I think pwn is a really good thing, but when you know numbers, you know, I'm I really want to to like this tool. So let's go ahead and try and install this. So we need to clone it from the Git repository. So basically, I'm gonna do that and say, boom. And then I'm gonna go into the folder. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm strictly copy pasting what they're telling me to do because I want this to be as easy as possible. Okay, not really paying attention to what I'm doing. And then I can do scan.py and basically see the help file and scan ul all list of uls so this is the very first question and i like the banner it is pretty easy so so far already i think it's a really interesting tool but let's see what it can do so first of all let's go ahead and connect to let's see uh, i think i have a mm -hmm. Yeah, need to connect to OpenVPN to use Try Hack Me, and I'm gonna pick. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna pick this room here. This is a Joomla virtual machine that I'm gonna spin up, and it's gonna be the machine for us to scan. And let's see if it finds something. So until this boots up, I'm gonna pause the video. So the IP is up, let's copy paste it and say that is our host. And we're gonna do one for URL, number two for list of URLs, I guess. So enter URL, so it says URL, so we're gonna do the ACTP and then do the 10108099. So let's see. 10108099, okay, let's do that. So 10108099. So that's gonna be the URL. And it says it's not a valid URL. You should write a full URL, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this tool requires a bit more. Let's go ahead and visit the URL for now. If that is possible at all, is this machine up? It is up. Let's do that. So let's take this URL here and see if it wants it this way. No. Okay, so it does want something with a value. It seems like, all right, so fair enough. That is the way it wants. So let's take this one here as a value there. So, uh, one paste it in and there we go it needs some sort of value to inject on and okay so this is a really interesting small tool you paste in a ul and it's going to verify a few things like the status code the host to have the, the apache name the the in this particular case a web server uh, it's scanning for remote code execution on this URL here, so it's gonna try and put some stuff inside of this, I guess. I, I don't know how deep it look, you know, it, it could be either the first or the second parameter, I'm not really sure. It also tries for XSS and it also tries for error-based SQL injection, covering a very variety of different databases. And, okay, so let's go ahead and find an actual room on TryHackMe, which is actually um, vulnerable to something. Let's do go ahead and say a SQL injection. And let's just take, let's see, uh, the lab. I think the lab is pretty bad. So let me do it this way. So I'm gonna take this one here. Yeah, I think that is correct. So let's see if we can use this room here. So let's see, we have the IP in the room. Okay, it's booted and let's do the one here, error-based. Is this a, 
No answer needed. Where is the lab? So the lab is... Let's take this one here. Oh, um... Uh, just a all right so I found a URL in the uh, in the text you know it doesn't really matter to us how I found it but it's just you know somewhere so I'm gonna take this URL here which is full of SQL injection I'm gonna use this tool clear the screen let's see if we if this finds it because it should so there's a, an area here so maybe it wants me to do HTTP I don't know let's see yeah, it seems like that it does want me to do HTTP. So that is the weakness of this tool, it seems like. So let's paste it in. So if I do that, uh, will it then put the HTTP? So there we go. And it's finding stuff. All right, so it's really fast, really fast tool. So I think, I think this is okay. So it's finding you know, really easy, different kind of, you know, it says the payload is right there, so you can copy paste it, really, that's it. And it shows the actual error on the screen, and, you know, it doesn't exploit it, but it does say happy exploitation. It found five bugs, and we know that there is a screen injection. So just for detecting itself, it's, uh, it wor it's working really good. So I would like to say... This tool is, in my eyes, a really good, you know, standard tool to use in your variety, you know, of, of different tools to, to verify whether there's something or not. I don't think it could compete with SQL map, I, not at all, you know, it cannot, it, 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 it seems like it's only detecting. It also says security scanner, it doesn't, it says web pona and I'm like, yeah, but is it, it's not really poning anything, so... The name itself is bad, but the thing it does is really good. You know, what do you think about it? I think this is a nifty small thing to play with to start using tools. It's simple, it's easy to install, it works out right at the bat. It kind of, you know, lacks a few things in error description, but you know, eh, most of these free tools does. But this one is really good. So, thumbs up for me. I like it. Hope you like it too. Until next time, I'm going to see you again and stay secure.